Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. You've asked me to do a revised video for the A4E Skyhawk Community Mod for DCS World, so let's get on with it. First of all, we need to come to the main download page, which is that link there, and I'll show that in the video description of the video you're watching. Then we're gonna scroll down to this guy here. Visit our GitHub page for full installation instructions and download links. Let's click on there. From here, I'm going to click on, this is what that page looks like. From there, I'm gonna click on clone or download. We're gonna download this zip file here and download zip and it's going to, wait, going to go away and download if we look at the bottom of the screen you can see it's now download, downloading this zip file here so just uh, be patient for that to download it will be several hundred megabytes okay it's finished downloading finally i'm not actually sure where it saved it so i'm going to go show in folder it's put it in my downloads area so it did the right thing okay let's go in there and let's go in there and that is the guy in there with, that we want so i'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back and back. So we're in the plain um, downloads area here. And I'm going to paste it there. Just so I've got a fresh copy of that folder. Let that do its thing. Okay, now I'm going to copy that folder there. 400, 500 megabytes, whatever it is. Now we need to go into our saved games area to actually install that folder. Now, everyone's computer will have their saved games area in a different place. Usually, by default, it's C drive, users, the name of the user, and then saved games. Now, I've actually moved mine, despite it looking like it's there, it's not actually there anymore. I purposefully moved mine to another drive because I ran out of memory on my C drive, I've moved it to F drive. So F drive, saved games for me, probably not for you, DCS, and then we're gonna to go to mods. If you don't have a mods folder, create one, call it exactly that. Then into aircraft. If you don't have an aircraft folder, create it and call it exactly like that. Then I'm gonna paste the aircraft in there. There it is. All right, it's as simple as that. Let's just pop into DCS and make sure it's there to use. I'm in now, and if we're looking on the bottom, you can see we have an A4E Skyhawk, um, and you can use it. I hope that was useful. See you later.